All right, uh, quick overview of Waxter Wizard. Uh, it should be coming out next version. Let's say we wanted to make a thing of this cat. Made this cat the size we want it. Say we want it there. We're gonna raster this cat. I do Control Alt G. Stalls a little bit and bah, done. And I press this button and I'm off to the races. Okay, so with a little bit more detail, let's go here. Now, say I want to make it that size. Raster Wizard has a whole GUI. So what it's doing is at every step of the way, it will be running each of these operations. So it would run any crop we set, doesn't work yet. Any, uh, it'll convert to grayscale. We can invert this grayscale. It'll instantly show what it'll be on the flip side. Uh, the resample is to make this the correct size. This jump because of a bug. I'll have that fixed probably. Uh, contrast, so I can turn off the contrast so we see what the contrast does overall to the thing. If we turn up the brightness, we'll see that it's brighter. And when we zoom in, we'll see that this bright spot here is missing all of the pixels because it'll dither at the end. So if we reduce the amount of brightness, we can see these pixels come back because it's running through the entire process the entire time. So we can see spots that'll look sort of bleached out. Like say we wanted this white in here, we can reduce the brightness until we get the pixels to at least fill in that area and it'll affect it like that. So it'll do, uh, it'll convert to grayscale. It'll do a resample. So it'll make it the right size for, uh, for running on the M2 Nano in uh, native size, which means that you don't have to resize it. You don't have to do anything else with it. It'll actually be that size. You can set the steps here. So say if I set step five, it'll change the actual size of this picture, picture because the picture is actually, since it runs at native size, if you up the steps, it changes the size of the picture, but it has to be this size. So it will adjust everything else accordingly. Uh, so the bigger you make it, the sort of less detail. It also goes significantly faster. Uh, Unsharp image. Uh, this is the main process here. Basically, it does a high pass filter ish sort of thing, but it's an Unsharp mask. Uh, there is a second one because this is gold method where it will do a second sharpen. You can change the radius, the threshold. Uh, but for the most part, you're just going to be using it. Uh, wh whatever the recipe is will just be done overtly. So let's go ahead and change it to uh, Stepo. This is a different uh, script, sort of. Uh, by the way, send in any sort of uh, recipes you have. Not the actual text of a script or anything or like physical description, but the steps and processes and methods, the parts that can't be copyrighted, that would maybe help especially if it was for like acrylic, because I don't have anything for acrylic. Uh, tone, here we have, uh, this one isn't any, isn't present in the other one. So there's a tone curve, we can adjust this. It doesn't have the multiple uh, points yet. I'll try to add that, but basically you set a tone curve. So you set the various points. Uh, it also has gamma correction. The other one didn't have gamma correction. So you say change the gamma down and it'll do the shifts there. Uh, it did have on sharp, dither, and then, uh, so when you're good to go, you run this. Seems much more kind of sharp blacks in the nose area. But in both of these cases, uh, you can just run them straight up and they're uh, already natively sized. Uh, I'm considering making it so that you can't resize them because if you do this and then you go to here, it'll be forced to actualize it. And if you do that on an already uh, processed picture, it'll be a disaster. But uh, hopefully you'll just be able to say, grab a picture, drag it in here, select the picture, make it whatever size you want, then poof, apply this done raster all right thanks for watching